Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the channel. I suppose I should say welcome back to the channel because I know it's been quite a while since I actually posted any new content. Part of that is because I've been a little bit busy. As you can see, I've been playing a little bit of Minecraft. Here behind me, you may notice a nice little house that I uh, made with a tutorial video from a YouTuber that I've watched recently. I'll add a link to their video in the description below. Uh, this house comes from Zaypixel. I'll take you on a tour to see all the stuff that I created based on the build and all the other stuff that I've been working on while I was on vacation. It's looking pretty nice. I'm really proud of this world. And the main reason I wanted to show it to you is because this may be the private world that I play on my own time to sort of relax and get my mind out of recording for the sake of recording. And I come to a place where I can just make... I can just play the game and not worry about recording. So this is a private world that I have all to myself, but I do have plans to make a Minecraft series for the channel. So I'll be doing that after this short tour. Here you can see the lovely front entrance with, um, with a nice fence that I've put around to keep mobs out. As you can probably guess, I had to place the game in peaceful mode. I don't need a creeper blowing up all of the stuff that, we, that I worked so hard to build. Um, I say we because this, again, isn't my build. This comes from someone else, a YouTuber called Zaypixel. Their channel is really nice. I'll, I'll add a link in the description below. And I might even be able to add their um, thumbnail to this. So if uh, you want to check out their channel, that would be wonderful. They're an amazing builder. They've got lots of different stuff, including lake houses, ponds, bridges, all sorts of things that you can build. This house is made almost exactly like the tutorial. Almost pure, pure image, spitting image, as close as I could possibly get it to. Um, their um, build doesn't include some of the grass and flowers. I added those in randomly using bone meal. Um, their build also has shaders enabled because uh, they play on the PC. Um, also, their build does not include a fence. I needed a fence because I keep this world on hard mode in survival uh, because that's the only that that's a really it, it's a way that keeps me interested in the game keeps me engaged uh, you may be wondering about the different fence uh, this may be triggering OCD for a lot of people there's a reason for that I promise my reason is because if I'm say I'm coming from the village where I like to do my trading or I'm coming from the mines where I like to do my mining which I may show you later if it's, you know, I could wait in the mine or at the village until the end of night, until daytime, when I could easily see better, but sometimes I like, I'm in a rush, and I like to rush back to my house in the middle of the night, because I live life on the edge, and that's just what I do. But, <laughs> yeah, I live life on the edge while I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> but there's nothing I hate worse than running up to my fence, trying so hard to find out which one is the fence gate, they all look exactly the same, so usually what I used to do was I would border off the fence gate area with two torches. One on one side of the fence gate area, skip a space, and then one on the other side of the fence gate area. But I found out that that's just a little bit too difficult visually for me to see. A great identifier is to have a fence gate made from a different material. Obviously I could put dirt blocks here and you know stare my way over and make it so that I could jump over and creatures couldn't but I just like having a completed fence gate area and the different color doesn't really bother me I'm a f I'm sorry if it triggers some people I know that it doesn't match it's that way on all four corners but it's just so that I can visually see the entrance to my abode more easily actually now that I think about it maybe I should change the fence and add a path behind each fence like a path here with the fence gate I'm identifying the path hmm well I learned something today anyway on with the tour stop spitting during my tutorial or my house tour do do you mind do you... sir get get your llamas they're they're interrupting my tour anyway okay Starting with the uh, crop area, you can see that the farm is pretty nice. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think they use different um, different crops. I'm not sure. I really like the color on the wheat versus the carrots here. 
uh, the farm is actually really fully this is it this is <laughs> this is as much as the farm gets I usually keep these full just for aesthetic purposes like full to the point where it's just about um, to pop out the bone meal right on top let me show you if I let me see if I can show you that real quick there I usually keep it about there for aesthetic purposes and then I just don't touch it unless I absolutely need it but this is the farm area carrots on one side wheat on the other uh, a lot of nice wheat here for my horses nice hay bales um, let me introduce you this is butters and this is steel <laughs> butters and steel <laughs> they're uh, two horses that I uh, you know tamed after literally the first attempt I sat on them to ride them and I immediately tamed them instantaneously and boom they were on my side so the gold armor I got from the nether after one of my runs in the nether where I barely escaped uh, the uh, the iron armor I think that came from a, either a chest in a village or it may have come from the nether I'm not sure uh, I can't remember for for all I know they both could have come in the, from the nether I'm, I'm glad they're they're being very photogenic for the camera looking at the camera um, again, uh, the farm area, right back over here on the right hand side, you have beetroot, which I really love the red standout bright color of this, versus potatoes, I really like the vines on these, they're nice and tall and everything, uh, you know, they, they just really look aesthetically nice, it just matches real good light. Uh, let's get this up, let's get this topped up to, there we go. Okay, see, see, it just aesthetically, it adds to it. Uh, again, in peaceful mode, mobs not spawning, I'm busy here, don't need mobs right now. Here, we have a sort of um, hodgepodge path towards the, I'd say, secondary entrance, the main entrance I consider at the top of the house. Uh, we'll go with the secondary entrance first for the tour. We've got some nice barrels here, which I, originally they were just for looks, aka aesthetics. Uh, but I found an actual good purpose for them. In this build, you may notice that if you're in survival, or whatever mode you're in, um, sheep, cows, pigs, various farm animals will spawn in the area of your fenced-off uh, home. When they spawn, they tend to um, walk on top of these planters, or walk on top of these steps, and then fall down into my crop area which of course results in crops being unplanted. So what I've decided to do with these barrels is I've placed various implements or tools that I can use to replant crops when they're accidentally destroyed because I thought about you know just <clears throat> taking care of whatever sheep or cows may wander into the area but I decided to let them be and just replant whatever crops are necessary. We've got some lanterns around the front entrance. Uh, my nice um, lavender flower. Uh, I've really taken a liking to the peony flowers there in the back. I'll show you real quick. This is supposed to be a 10-minute tour. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, uh, oh, I'm really running over my time. Uh, down there is the storage area. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we're pressed for time. Gotta get this tour going. Okay. Here we have the uh, basement interior is a nice cozy design. Um, I really like doing this build on survival mode. It wasn't easy. I'd give it about a medium. Um, actually, no, I'd give it about an easy. But you really, maybe on normal, it wouldn't have been so challenging. But I had a, a little bit of a difficult time to begin with. But once I actually got the base started, um, it was actually, I'd say, an easy build because I have to reconsider the fact that number one I haven't played Minecraft in about two years like full on you know actually a full let's play or a, a full playthrough haven't played Minecraft in a long while and for a more experienced user this is probably just an absolutely easy build so I, I'd give it an easy um, I found the brewing stand in a village that I took one of their brewing stands because they had two they only need one um, <clears throat> the red mushroom was actually an interesting find I got it from a wandering trader uh, funny story I couldn't find a red mushroom for the life of me before that uh, I traded for it I was so happy to have it because I was trying to 
match the build as closely as possible and in their build they have a nice red mushroom right here so I wanted to add that red mushroom originally I had a potted plant but I noticed it was different and the difference was just bugging me <laughs> so after trading that red mushroom of course I found a mushroom biome with lots of red mushrooms of course I did of course I did if you'll notice uh, I've got some uh, nice uh, blast furnaces here for cooking my food I could easily cook them down in the storage area uh, but I keep my smokers and my blast furnaces here in order to give me good reason to come into the basement area and cook as often as possible and brew as often as possible I keep my kettle full and my house is always open so <laughs> um, if you'll notice if you build this build um, just little things that I've noticed that may be convenient for you, the user, if you decide to build this. Again, I'll add a link in the description below to the original builder. Something that you might find convenient. If you're going to brew your potions here, I would suggest keeping these cabinets, possibly all four of them, but mainly just this one, as your alchemical ingredients barrel. I keep my bottles, my fermented spider's eyes, my sugar, my mushrooms, Redstone, uh, gunpowder, very important. Uh, I'm not sure why the coal's in there. I think I just needed that for something. But yes, any alchemical ingredients I get will be in these barrels. You may find that very convenient for you if you decide to build this in a survival world. Lastly, before I leave, you may notice the nice fireplace. Again, I don't want to ruin the magic, but there are building tips and tricks that you can use in order to um, make this work out for you, if you know what I mean. Uh, to make it look that way, uh, nice fireplace in the center, won't burn down my house, um, because again, it's a campfire, so I'm glad they added campfires as opposed to netherrack. I really loved netherrack, but um, it was dangerous to use unless you knew what you were doing with it. Um, it's much nicer to use a campfire. Really love it. As a matter of fact, I can even cook fish on here. I just realized that. Anyway, uh, we've got some food storage here currently. Uh, I don't have any food stored in there. I don't think I do. But again, if you're deciding to play this world on survival and you don't want to make an underground basement storage area, uh, this is a great area to store your food or whatever else you need or your ore on one side or whatever else you need. Now, let's move up to the bedroom area. Alrighty. <laughs> it's a shame that it's raining, but I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Moving up the steps, you'll notice these nice bushes that the build replace here. They look really nice. We've got some gray carpet. You can choose whatever color you like. Uh, instead of fence posts, we've got fence gates. They provide a much more aesthetic appeal. Uh, fence post on the sides here, really nice. Nice spacious uh, windows. And without further delay, I'll take a tour inside. Alright, beginning with the bedroom area, we've got our um, dark oak staircase, uh, which, again, there's another story just like with the red mushroom. I had to quest far and wide to actually find dark oak. Um, it's in a biome somewhere about a thousand blocks in that direction that I went looking for uh, a jungle biome and a desert biome and a mesa biome any one of the three biomes I could find I was desperate to find one of them uh, I found dark oak forest so I'm happy for that I've gone in that direction uh, all the way in this direction <laughs> uh, pardon me all the way in this dir well about a thousand blocks in this direction about a thousand blocks in this direction to find the dark oak and about a thousand blocks in this direction uh, again, that's my village that I do my trading in. I'm still working on making it fully, uh, you know, functional. So, yeah, if you decide to build this build in survival mode, I would really recommend it. Uh, it's very fun to go find some of these materials. Uh, I'm really proud of that one. I was super happy to find it. Uh, again, moving on to the nice armor stand in the corner here. I like to keep a uh, nice gold. Um, because I like gold! <laughs> um, you may notice that some of it is enchanted. If it were up to me, I would find all enchanted armor or just enchant it myself. Uh, I'd go for an enchanted sword, full enchanted gold armor, because that's just what I like to see. It's, it looks cool. 
We've got some nice potted plants here. Now, uh, she was originally using a, um, I think it's a mod, or maybe it's the, no, I'm sure it's the Java Edition. I forget, I'm playing on Bedrock. So, on Java Edition, you can place planters on top of trapdoors, or, you know, the pots. Uh, but you can't do that here, so I've placed slabs. I hope it's not too disturbing. I know it may be triggering to some of you, but, um... If you are playing on a different version, to me, I find it perfectly acceptable to make some substitutions, when necessary, to complete a build. Obviously, I could have just placed more barrels on the other side, but I like the potted plants, they're pretty to me, and I like them. Uh, we've got some nice bookshelves here, with a loom placed sideways, in order to accentuate drawers of the loom. Again, staircases upside down and right side up with nice slabs in order to make fireplace with campfire. And again, you can cook fish here if you so choose. I think you can. I should uh, check on that. We've got some potted plants with some dead plants here and a bush, or excuse me, tree leaves, spruce leaves, in order to make a bush. So again, potted plant ideas that I got from a much, much better builder than I am. Um, link in the description below. Really liking that. Uh, we've got some nice gray carpet accentuating the bed area. And sea pickles. You can actually get a trophy if you place all four of them right here. Originally, her build had one sea pickle. So I put all four in order to get the trophy, plus I like the way it looks. Alright, well, having said that, this is the bedroom slash living room area. It's really nice. It's super cozy. I absolutely love it. Um, I wanted to build something in a survival world that looked pretty enough. <laughs> That's There's no other way to say it. I wanted it to look pretty enough that I could continue playing, not get tired of the world, not get bored of the world, not just completely delete it, remove it, and never come back to it because I have a bad habit of doing that. I say I'm going to complete the playthrough. I say that I'm going to get all the trophies. I say that I'm going to fight the Ender Dragon, spawn the Wither, fight the Wither, but I never do it. I always get bored with the world uh, because I get bored with the way it looks. So I've decided that I'm going to build some of their builds, uh, including this house and several other things, in order to simply keep me engaged. Um, I really like the aesthetic appeal of a lot of these different builds. And without further ado, I'll take you to the backyard area. Alrighty, without further delay, you may notice the nice backyard area. You may choose whatever plants here you desire to plant. Originally, the build does not call for these peony plants at the bottom here. These are all me. Uh, I placed them here. I hope it doesn't ruin the look of things. But I really like the way they set off the color of the berry plants at the top planters. <gasps> Pardon me. Oh, I'm holding wheat. Ha 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 ha. Here, eat this and chew. I'm doing something very important. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, on the side here, you may notice a lovely uh, chimney. Uh, I added, again, not exactly as the build um, specifies. I added stair block cases in various directions here to make a little bit of uh, uh, Ooh, I need to fix that. That's asymmetrical. Ooh, gotta fix that. I will fix that next. Ignore that. Don't look at that. Um, the build does not uh, call for spruce bushes. I added the spruce bushes, all me. You can choose to do that if you wish. If not, totally fine. Uh, the build does not call for mossy cobblestone. I used some of that in some areas in order to give it some just nice flair, stand out, see it from a distance. Uh, again, sometime um, when you're building this, feel free to make some aesthetic changes if you wish. Um, <laughs> I'm not the original author. I can't, you know, tell you how to make your build. I like the uh, fireplace with the chimney. Uh, again, love campfires, actual billowing smoke, no longer having to use, um, I think it's uh, no longer having to use spider webs unless you prefer that. If you do, totally fine. I like the actual billowing, uh, billowing smoke. Over to here, you may notice my uh, water trough uh, for my horses and any other random farm animals that decide to wander into my build or into my onto my land. They're free to take a, uh, a drink. I can pour water from the spigot. Oh god, I just destroyed it. <laughs> um, uh, pour water for them. They can take a drink. It's nice. It's fine. I think I actually built it one too many blocks out. 
Um, I think you can actually do one block further back so that it's just two blocks of water, but I wanted three in order to provide an infinite water source for my alchemy and potions making, which is literally right down in the basement. Again, I'm not sure if that's changed. Maybe you can make an infinite water source with less than three blocks, but that's the way I wanted it, so that's the way I did it. Hey, everybody. All right, this is it. This is it for the tour. Thank you all so much for watching. That's way more than the time I have left for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments or suggestions you may have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.